Hello, and welcome back, law firm owners, to the Wildly Successful Law Firm Podcast. I'm Nermeen, and we are getting right into today's episode, which is all about what a productive week, Monday through Friday, looks like for you as a law firm owner. By the way, last week we covered what a productive day looks like for a law firm owner. If you didn't listen to that, please go back and listen to it, and it'll really help you understand the difference between a day versus a week versus a month in terms of productivity. Okay, so let's get to today's episode. We're gonna keep it straight and short and to the point. Okay, every single week, again, every single week, you as a law firm owner are doing at least two hours of marketing. If I'm not your consultant, I don't know how you're spending that time marketing. If you wanna talk about that, that's something that we can talk about, but every week you have to spend at least two hours marketing, okay? Too often I see lawyers coming to me and saying, I was so busy and then I stopped marketing and then the client stopped coming. Well, no shit, you have to keep marketing. Always be marketing, right? If you set yourself up to do two hours of marketing a week, then over a year, that's 100 hours. That is a wildly successful law firm. Why? Because you're fucking consistent. You don't have peaks and then drop-offs where you're like, oh shit! You have consistency, okay? And that's what me as a consultant, I wanna get you to see is the absolute diamond in this business being consistent, okay? All right, so that was number one. Make sure you're doing two hours of marketing every single week. Number two, every single week, you wanna make sure that you're doing some sort of a C-level activity. That could be a CFO day, a CEO day, a COO day, chief hiring officer day, whatever is right for your firm every single week, again, Every single week, you need to make sure that you're doing at least one sort of C-suite activity. Maybe the first week of the month, you review finances for last month and what's going to happen in this month. Maybe then the second week during the month, you send out updates on LinkedIn looking for a new admin, right? Then maybe on the third week of the month, you are doing your operational stuff. You're making sure that everything makes sense. Your processes are making sense. There's nothing that you can smooth out a little bit more. All of that is working. Anything you need to troubleshoot, you can do that during the third week. And then the fourth week, let's say you're being a CEO. You're looking at, okay, how many clients came in? How many clients went out? What happened? What worked? What didn't work? So you wanna make sure every single week you have some sort of a C-level activity, and that way it's spread out. It's not happening all at once, which can feel super, super overwhelming sometimes. Okay, tip number three. You are managing your task list on a week-to-week basis. So what does that mean? Too often I see law firm owners doing things on a day-to-day basis, but they're not thinking far out enough right? They're not thinking, okay, next week is when the interrogatories are due, so they'll come back to me, and then the week after that, this will happen, and I'll have to respond. They're not thinking that far ahead. Instead, a lot of law firm owners end up putting out fires because they're just not thinking far enough ahead. I want you to think about the next week. So if, let's say, you're looking at your task manager on Friday at noon, and you're thinking, okay, so what's gonna happen next week? Well, let me see what happened this week. What is due also next week? Did I add any notes? Did I add any additional deadlines? What do I need to follow up with? Who didn't respond to me? That is a great time to look at what's gonna happen the next week ahead. So when you come in on Monday, you're not putting out fires. You know exactly what you're gonna do that week. Nothing feels more overwhelming than sitting at dinner on Sunday night or going to brunch on Sunday and thinking to yourself, holy fuck, I have so much to do next week or oh shit, I don't even know where to start with my week. If you have a task manager and you're using it effectively, you know exactly what's gonna happen that next week. So when you go into Sunday, you're not like upset and overwhelmed. You are rocking your Sunday and you're like, I cannot wait until Monday because I know exactly what my week is gonna look like. Okay, but before I go to the next one, I want to share with you Automate My Law Firm. 
It's something that my team and I have been working on with a lot of law firm owners, and we've helped them become more productive and manage their time better, which means if they don't wanna work, they don't have to. And if they wanna work, they're actually being efficient with their time and billing more and making more. So if we haven't already done a consult on automating your law firm, take a look at the link below and reach out to me. Now back to the list. Okay, next tip. Every week, you are reviewing the tasks that you completed. Why is that important? I mean, this is already complete. I don't need to look at what I completed. What's so great is my task manager is split between completed tasks and incomplete tasks. And I love that because when I'm looking at what I've completed, I can't even begin to tell you how amazing and productive I feel. This is one of those feel good things that you're gonna do as a law firm owner. It's one of those things that is so like not ingrained in us as lawyers because we're so used to like beating ourselves up and being highly critical and being extra perfectionist. But this is one of those things that you can definitely do that when you go back on your week and you're like, wow, we did a lot this week. And I know every single week you go in and you're like, shit, what did I do this week? I have no idea where my time went. Well, when you have a task manager that you're using to track the things that you actually did, it makes a really big deal. And it really allows you to be more productive and feel better about all the shit that you did. So don't forget that. Okay, tip number five that you're gonna do to make sure that you have a productive week is that you are going to send out all client communication updates clients that you need to catch up with, clients where there's no update, you're still gonna email them saying that there's no update so that they're never in the dark, clients that you need documents from, clients who said that they were gonna call you back but then forgot, clients who said that they were gonna send you a document but then they forgot. You are going to do that every single week at a certain time so that you can make sure that nothing is delaying you. Because if a client doesn't provide you the work, you can't do the work, which means you can't bill for it, which means you can't get paid for it. Do you see where I'm going here? Okay. So please make sure that you are doing your part to communicate with your clients. They're your clients. They are not your admin's clients. They are not your intake specialist clients. They are not your associate attorney's clients. Guess whose clients they are? Ding, ding, ding. They're yours. So it's still on you to make sure that this stuff is getting done, okay? All right, the final thing here, every single week, if you have a team, is you wanna make sure that you're checking in with your team and you're letting them know, here's what we did this week, here's what we're gonna do next week, here's what worked well this week, here's what we need to focus on next week. If it's just you and your paralegal, great. We have to do trial prep next week for Smith. I need you to work on the binders next week, Monday and Tuesday. Can you please make note of that on your calendar so you know what you're doing and that you're being productive. Check in with your team, check in with your clients, check in with yourself. This is what a productive week looks like when you're running a law firm. All right, if you found that useful, if you found that helpful, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you haven't already, Let's talk about automating your law firm and getting you this magical task list and making sure that you're reviewing it every single week. That's everything for this episode, Law Firm Owners. Thank you so much for listening in. See you next week. Bye.